or support the show, go over to our support store and get some awesome looking clothing. We got rock on hats, rock on shirts. The rock on hats are embroidered. Get your exclusive merchandise now. Rock on. Era begins again. What's up, everyone? How you doing? Welcome to the show. Yesterday, the social media gods took down my damn segment over on YouTube and Facebook. Are you believing this? My God, what kind of country we living in today? If you wanted to hear that uh, video, yes, I kind of went off a little bit on a tangent. A little bit. It's probably what got it removed. You can go over to MotorcycleMadhouse.com and listen to it on the radio. Or just go over to Spotify, iTunes, download the app, will ya? It's that easy. Then you don't listen to me anytime without worrying about it being taken down. So hopefully this one ain't going to be taken down. <laughs> my God, people started messaging me and, hey, where's the video? Hey, man, it's not my problem. You know, the social media gods are after me. It's like a lightning bolt. Boom. Done. It's gone. <laughs> uh, also, before I go into anything, uh, we're going to be giving you a directory where you can get the radio station all that good stuff so stay tuned we're in the works with this stuff we're moving along moving along man and as always if you want to do your own show i got some spots open if you want to do one man all you have to do is get your equipment uh i can tell you what to get and some other stuff and you'll be ready to go now i have a question does hooked on phonics or Ebonics at that. Work for some of these idiots. They sent me an article from Mr. Wizard and his crew about prospecting from beginning to end. How many times have I said that you don't go to the internet for that kind of advice? Wait till you see this article tomorrow. Now, I didn't do it today because I wanted to get some stuff in that I didn't get in uh, on yesterday's segment because of my rant. But it is laughable at that. What's worse is people actually believed it. They sent this in and say, is this the way to do it? Well, first off, I don't know how many times I got to say it. I, you know the news stuff man i bring you the news you know stuff that you don't feel like reading i'll bring it out give you my opinions what's going on in the scene that way you just lay back enjoy it and not have to do any work i don't get into that other stuff i am not into mc protocol get that hooked on phonics it might help you to understand that I don't like answering questions when it has to deal with that kind of stuff. There are other channels that do that crap, but not this one. Our platform's Biker News. Even if you go to that, those ones, just remember, you're only going to learn when you go out in person and do it. Because some of these people haven't even been in the club a long time and all of a sudden they know everything. <laughs> and some of them are cops <laughs> you don't like that one dingbat so you got all these different platforms trying to teach people about motorcycle clubs when it's as easy as just going up to a member say hey can I hang around how you doing my name's this and just talk you know don't bring up joining the club right away get to know the people because how do you know that's the club for you? People are in such rushes to get patches. And I think that is one of the main reasons for that pop-up club phenomenon. Yes, that's what I think. <laughs> that and, you know, everybody on the freaking internet telling people how to do this, how to do that. This is the way it should be done. That's the way it should be done. Oh my God, it gives me a headache. But when I seen that article, I was like, Jesus Christ, you're kidding me. 
Hot Cars, Mr. Wizard and Crew. Stick to your damn motorcycle reviews, your car reviews. That's something you're good at. But when you get into that territory of clubs and thinking what the hell, you know, you know what you're doing, you don't. And I think you do it just to piss me off. Because <laughs> you know that I'll cover it, I'll berate you. People will go over there and see it any damn way because they're stupid because of Bonics and Hooked on Phonics didn't work for them. And you'll get views. That's why you do it. <laughs> That's why you do it. That to get in the search engines, all that good kind of crap. So, once and for all, you dorks. I'm not into that stuff, so don't send that uh, crap into me because... That's just not what we do. Uh, you know, we do biker news, and we got the upcoming station. So I do not need to mess with that kind of stuff. Uh, today, we have uh, a bunch of stories. Uh, Corey Graff's Wall of Shame is back. Yes, Corey Graff's Wall of Shame. Uh, it's one of those things that got nixed on the last segment because of my rant. I'm going to try to stay away from that kind of stuff. Because, quite frankly, it burns my blood too much. And I want to cover some biker stuff. You know, it's always good to throw in different things once in a while. So, but, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to cover some biker news. And let's get this show on the road, man. Don't forget to pound rock on and hit that like button. You know, I always do have that one or two trolls that always hit that dislike button. Right even before the damn show airs. It's like, damn, man, you hate old Hollywood, don't you? <laughs> hey, let's go over to New Zealand. Yes, over the pond by Tim Newman. Hell's Angels prospect dies in Nelson motorcycle crash. Sad state of affairs. Let's take a look. You know, right? They're not saying nothing, but it's showing the accident scene. You know, those police cars are always weird, especially them firefighter trucks over there. Weird stuff, man. Uh, but I guess this is the scene that where it happened. You just see a couple members of uh, the Hell's Angels walking aside uh, the highway and stuff. <laughs> Looks like it's just an investigation going on. Uh, let's move forward a little bit. Yeah, there's uh, the New Zealand chapter. Uh, even the rigs over there look weird. Anyway, the man who died in a motorcycle crash near Hyra on Monday was part of a group of Hells Angels members riding from Nelson to Picton. Uh, social media posts say the rider was a prospect from the South Auckland Hells Angels Motorcycle Club police are appealing for witness to the fatal crash that occurred on State Highway 6. The crash happened at about 10.35 a.m. on Monday, about 500 meters north of the Collins Valley rest area. Now, northeast of Nelson City and involved a motorcycle and a truck. Tasman Road Police and Manager Senior Sergeant Grant Andrews do they always give them, like, long titles and stuff over there? Said it appeared from the initial investigation that the motorcycle hit a truck that was driving in the opposite direction. Uh, quote, there was a group of bikers who left uh, Nelson heading towards the Pickin Ferry. It is believed the deceased may have been part of that group, but we're still making inquiries. Hmm, okay. And then it says, any information, you can give the cops a call if you've seen the accident and all that good stuff. Uh, then it goes, you know what's even funny? Then they end the story, okay? Here's a guy who died on a motorcycle, or uh, who was a prospect. A group, including several Hells Angels gang members. Boy, it never surprises me, man. They got to get that in there. Patch members of the gang were seen riding. Uh, Hell's Angels uh, members were seen in Nelson at the weekend. You know, it, it gets off topic there. That's what I can't stand about uh, media. And I guess it's the same overseas as it is here in uh, the United States. Uh, next story is very interesting here. Uh, Harley Davidson starts five year overhaul as coronavirus slams business. Uh, get rid of that. Uh, let's see here what we got. Uh, we don't want to watch the, that news conference. Let's see. Essential businesses here and workers go. only. That's the one thing that is hurting Harley Davidson, though. At least a dealer in New Jersey was saying he was forced to close his doors 
because only parts and service departments are considered essential. His name is Bob DeFazio. He joins us right now. Bob, how are you holding up? Uh, we're, we're fighting. We're fighting for our lives here, Neil. But uh, our service department is working uh, diligently to keep uh, our customers on the road. What I find weird about that, Bob, is that the service department is next to your actual dealership, right? Well, it's it's connected. It's connected. It's, it's in the uh, same building. The back side right. of the showroom that you're, uh, yep. So the reason the why I mentioned it, not stream. to be silly about it. Yeah. Right. And that, that, so if that's open, if your parts and service department is open, what would be the harm in just having the place right next door open? Uh social distancing, uh, what they are allowing us yeah. now is to sell motorcycles via the internet. But you could police social distancing there. I, you know, I'm not gonna argue with City Hall and federal government now policing this whole social distancing thing. Eh, let's just close that up, control. man. That is uh, New Jersey. But anyway, Harley-Davidson Inc. announced plans to overhaul its business after COVID-19 pandemic dragged the company to a loss in the three months through June. Guess how much they lost? $92 million or an adjusted $0.35 cents per share as revenue sank 7% year over year to $865 million. Wall Street analysts surveyed by uh, Renitiv were anticipating adjust, uh, adjusted earnings of $0.04 cents per share. Man, that's a dive. Uh, then they talk about a total rewire. You see how they try to get that live wire thing in. You're not going to sell that bike unless you start getting the price down, man. You know, go get a zero and it's a better bike anyway. <laughs> Uh, the Milwaukee-based motorcycle maker's five-year strategic plan, dubbed the Hardwire, will include vast changes to Harley's operating model, update the company's iconic motorcycles and new products into the mix, and focus on the parts and accessories and general merchandise business. In other words, the clothing business. The plan, which was teased alongside the company's first quarter results, will also include shifting new product launches from August to the beginning of the year and collaborations with influencers to reach new buyers. Meaning they're going to go after influencers on YouTube, Facebook, because, you know, let's just put it plain and clear. That's who's selling their merchandise, man. Uh, we reach more people than they ever could in mainstream media. And no, I won't do it. Uh... A new marketing campaign focusing on the unrelenting spirit of Harley will include a collaboration with actor Jason Moma, who has appeared uh, in TV and film hits from Aquaman to uh, Game of Thrones and Stargate Atlantis. I actually really like Stargate, uh, you know, the original one, you know. Uh, Harley Davidson will focus on 50 markets, the majority in North America and Europe, but also parts of Asia. Wait till you see one of the models, the Harley 350 model, in collaboration with, yep, China. <laughs> the rewire Harley's earlier course correction plan that will continue through the end of the 2020 is expected to result in $250 million in savings and $100 million in annual savings thereafter. The plan has reduced global inventory by 32% and resulted in higher used market prices. <laughs> you don't think they have a problem already with the prices? Uh, <laughs> yeah, talk about that in my final thoughts. Now, let's go over to Biker Dad, back to Blue Rally, including bikers draws crowds of supporters and counter uh, protesters. Blue no, Rally at let's Knoxville listen. Police headquarters today, drawing crowds of supporters and counter protesters. WATE Fix on Your Side reporter Jordan Brown was there, hearing from people on both sides of the issue. A peaceful rally supporting local government quickly turning confrontational. Rally, hey. We're here to hold you accountable. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. 
counter protesters converging on the rally, chanting and holding signs and flags of their own. A local biker group also coming in to support back the blue demonstrators. We have to come to some point. No, we don't. Um, or, or we just have to have to just stand up for right. Got a got a strength to just go out there and and make your voice heard. They have every right in the world. They're saying exactly what doing what they're doing. Back the blue demonstrators there to peacefully support law enforcement say they wanted our men and women in blue to know they had some support. Sometimes law enforcement, they're not able to go out to the community and a lot of times they're just not well. And so we are being that voice for them. Joseph, guys who tough job. They can't do anything right in this day and age. Um, you know, of course, they make mistakes. They don't go out every day with the intention of hurting beating people up, causing injury to people. But counter protesters say they feel invading this rally was the only way would be heard about the issues they have with law enforcement. They're not heard when things are brought to law enforcement's attention. They're not heard in any other manner. They're only heard when they come together as a team, as a group, as a community. There were some heated moments of discussion, but ultimately the rally ended peacefully. Organizers not rattled by the counter protesters say their message and support remains, and this won't be their last demonstration. For Good Morning Tennessee, Jordan Brown, W. Oh my God, you know what, go get a job, okay? Get a job, that's what I have to say. Uh, let's go on to the next one, a stag party. You better watch yourselves at stag parties because it's a possible exposure site in Alfina County. And Michigan ain't, you know what? You got that uh, Heil Hitler brought up there, man. She ain't taking this. The District Health Department number four is alerting the public of a possible COVID-19 exposure site. According to health officials, individuals who attended a stag party on June 20th, you can't even get the putty without getting COVID. <laughs> Starting at five, uh, between uh, Harrow, uh, what is it, Huron Road, and all that good stuff. People who were in attendance should monitor for COVID nineteen. Uh, anyone who is self monitoring as a result should stay away from family, close contacts, and roommates as much as possible. Those that develop symptoms within fourteen days of these dates should contact their doctor. Quote, this is a stark reminder of the virus is still circulating in northern Michigan. We need to continue to be vigilant and practice social distancing, wear a mask, and be mindful that it is far from being over. Just don't like stag parties, man. Stop being racist against stag parties. Well, you know, in this day and age, you can't even go watch, you know, some girls get it on. Before an old man's, you know, bachelor party without getting the COVID. Messed up. Anyway, this is the one I was telling you about, man. Uh, the Chinese Harley-Davidson HD350. <laughs> there you go for the Asian market. If you're on the radio, of course, come look at it. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> this one from Cycle World. Uh, new uh, high-resolution images of the same bike have emerged via the Chinese patent office and revealed that it is indeed the planned Harley just wearing different. Uh, QJ Motor uh, bodywork, the words Harley-Davidson Motor Company are even cast into the left-hand engine cover uh, in case there's any uh, lingering doubt. Mechanically, the Harley-Davidson HD350 is destined to be identical to this machine, which will also share the same components with the future Benelli 352S. That's expected to replace the current 300 and 302S models. <laughs> you don't think they hurt you a lot, uh, enough, Harley-Davidson, so you, now you got to collaborate with them? We just heard your quarter uh, two sales were down in the dumps, but you're still going to collaborate with the Chinese, and they're the ones who released this crap. Uh, when Harley originally announced the Chinese collaboration last year, the firm said its small twin would be 338 cc's, a number achieved by mixing the 45.2 millimeter stroke uh, crankshaft of the Benelli 
300 cc engine with the cylinders and pistons from the same uh, firm's larger 500 cc unit giving it a bore of about 69 uh, millimeters however since then there's been a rethink and a more substantial redesign of the engine leading to a capacity of 353 as revealed by the chinese <laughs> documents you sure they didn't steal your plans harley the same documents also tell us the engine makes 36 uh, horsepower and that the bike weighs in at 388 pounds. Uh, that's what it's going to look like, uh, the QJ350 images. It's right there. Arlie Davidson, you suck the big one. You really do. Uh, the patch, Lakeland, uh, Florida. This is Corey Graff's wall of shame. Correction officer arrested on DUI and other charges. Police found drugs, no, in the car of a correction officer from Winter Haven after she was pulled over for driving in the wrong direction. There's a lot of white on them lips. I'm just wondering, if the, do you see what I'm seeing? A Florida Department of Correction officer was arrested for driving under the influence early Sunday morning. Uh, Amber Reeves, you are in the wall of shame, honey. A Winter Haven, ooh, she ugly, 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 was stopped by police after she was seen driving in the wrong direction on U.S. Highway 1792. Deputies said Reeves drove eastbound in her Hyundai Sonata on the west side of the highway. You're not supposed to be doing that. You know, that's a surefire way of getting stopped. Going on the wrong side of the road. After police stopped her, they found marijuana, 420 baby, and drug paraphernalia in her car. She failed sobriety tests given by the officers who pulled her over, and her blood alcohol level was more than twice the legal limit. I can't stand drunks. Uh, quote, driving the wrong way down a major road in the middle of the night is a recipe for disaster. Okay, Mr. Obvious, Police Chief Jim Linsky said in a news release. I'm thankful that our officers were in the right place at the right time to observe these egregious violation and stop this vehicle before someone was seriously hurt or killed. We expect law enforcement professionals to uphold the law <coughs> and serve as a model citizen for everyone, <laughs> especially the youth. Miss Reeves will have some time to reflect on her actions from the other side of the bars. Well, who do, what do you know, man? She might have been, you know, taking that 420 to work, man, making some money. Reeves was arrested on charges of driving under the influence, possession of marijuana, and drug paraphernalia. She is employed by the Florida Department of Corrections since May. Well, if that's the case, I don't think she's passed her probationary period, has she? We're here from Bagger Syndicate Cycles. Just to let you know about the place that has the craziest hats on the market. Apparel that's based all upon bikers, baggers, and brotherhood. And ladies, we didn't forget about you either. Between tank tops and baby doll tees, we have it all. Now just go to BaggerSyndicateCycles.com and check it out. Mwah. Okay, you didn't think you were going to get away with me not uh, picking on the left today, did you? No, you're not going to get away with it. And I am posing a question, or actually making a statement. How in the hell does anybody who calls themselves a biker vote for that party or them people? Especially after this. The other 98%, this is uh, you know one of them liberal freaking uh, pecker pullers on uh, Facebook has millions of followers and stuff. Well, here's what they think of you. The ones who actually do vote for them morons. You know, most of us don't, but most of you do, you know, that are idiots, you know, reps. Anyway, hundreds of thousands of bikers for Trump. For one, not every bi biker is a biker for Trump. We do have some idiots out there that vote the other way. Uh, gangs like the Hells Angels and the Jackals. Hmm, I, wasn't that a Charlie Sheen movie? I'm just wondering the jackals. I don't know. Heroin pushers, child traffickers, and users and abusers of every kind will descend on the white supremacist town of Sturgis. Now Sturgis is white supremacy. 
I wonder how them blacks going out there are going to like that one being in a white supremacist town. South Dakota this week, the primary activity will be drinking in cramp bars, hanging out in small groups of a few thousand. Can we friggin' uh, really? A few thousand? Oh my god. And then departing the Petri dish to return to their home state should be an interesting experiment. Then all the liberals just start pulling on each other's peckers on this post. It's the other 98% it is on Facebook. But these people look at you as bikers this way. As heroin pushers, child traffickers, I think we're the ones that are very against that one, uh, and users and abusers of every kind. So again, those that vote for that party, these are their followers. This is their main base. This is who they cater to. How the hell you vote that way and claim you're a biker? This is the way they look at you. You're nothing but an animal and a monster. Something to think about, don't you? <laughs> so, my final thoughts. Uh, Harley Davidson, man, you're really in the dumps. You're really down there, man. Uh, you're like screeching bottom and digging your way through. That was a huge freaking loss. Huge loss. And to think that you're going to cut production by 38%, I think it said, so you can try to get the bikes in the used market, the prices to go up on them, I think you're crazy. That ain't going to happen. You know, because the people you're catering to only ride your bikes for a couple years, put hardly any miles on them, and then sell them for as cheap as you can get them. It's not going to raise the used market price, and it's really not going to help your cause when people find out you're in collaboration with the Chinese. I don't care if it's for the Asian market. The point being is you're still in collaboration with them. They're the ones who brought all this BS here, ruined a lot of people's lives, shut down a lot of businesses. For anybody that supports you, you're, they're morons. Why can't you collabor uh, collaborate with the UK with Triumph or respectable brand? No, you got to go with the Chinese. Why? Because it's cheaper parts. Next thing you're going to know, you're going to say, well, you know, we got to get around the tariffs and blah, blah, blah. Personally, uh, you know what? I lost all hope for you. Like I said a million times, my fat boy is the last one. I've had dozens of Harleys. Really used to like the company, but... You know, when you really look through the all the fog and the noise, they don't care about you as a customer. They don't care that you're the one who gave them their image that they have. It sure the hell wasn't their marketing that did it. If it was up to these schlucks, they'd be uh, marketing like Honda did in the 1960s and 70s. Only nice people ride Hondas. Well, I guess only nice people ride Harleys now. Because uh, that's all you care to, you know, dedicate your efforts to. You even said you're going to focus on the higher-end bikes. Well, your whole problem's been your bikes are too damn expensive. Nobody wants them. Nobody can afford them. It's like taking out a mortgage on a freaking house to get one of these things. That's why everybody does go to the used market. You built up the competition against yourselves. So, I don't know. What do you guys think of this, man? I, uh, Chinese freaking collaboration you know i knew the last ceo said well you know made in america didn't really matter it's the image are you stupid that's why most motorcycle clubs require a, uh, uh, an american-made motorcycle is because we have to have some kind of pride in our country but no, you guys go and collaborate with Chinese. Again, I would have loved to see a collaboration between Harley-Davidson and Triumph. That would have been badass, if you ask me. That would have been a badass collaboration with, you know, two great companies. But no, you go with the Chinese one, nobody can pronounce. Yeah, it's a 350. I just think it's the point, man. And it's like, you guys lost so much money in the last quarter while everybody and you can't go well covid closed this no uh 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 don't try to go that route because a lot of other motorcycle manufacturers were af actually making profit they weren't losing money they were making profit and then you want to call it the rewire your live wire ain't going nowhere dummies nobody's going to buy that stupid crap 
$31,000 for something you can't even go 100 freaking miles on. Sounds like a jet engine. Yeah, I get it. Electric bikes are the new way to go. But not at that price. Zero's going to kick your ass all over the place. And rightly so, because they do got a good electric bike. You know, they got that combination off-road thing. So, what do you guys think about Harley-Davidson collaborating, man? It's just, wow. Insane. And that, you know what, that last thing that uh, I was looking at, that other 98 percenter. Let's put that back up here. That reminds me of the people that were standing out at that rally and that were counter-protesting on that biker dad story. There ain't no freaking uh, reasoning with them people. Let's just put it out there the way it is. It's them against us. You got to start thinking that way. Because on all the little social media pecker polar sites, this is exactly what's on their mind when they see you. They don't see somebody who goes to work unlike them. Most of them don't even have jobs or on welfare. That's the way they roll. They look at you as a scum. But hey, that's the way people used to look at us, you know, when it wasn't cool to be a biker. But, you know, Colin Sturges, a white supremacist town, and you do got blacks going there. And then that child trafficker thing, that really pissed me off. Because, you know, out of everything in there, that is what pissed me off. Because bikers, you know how many kids they help Kids do not have to worry when they're around a freaking 100% strong-ass biker, man. They're going to be there to protect them kids. Because guess what? We got kids. We got grandkids. They got great-grandkids. You know what I mean? So we're not going to let nothing happen to kids. The ones that do, <laughs> they're weeded out really quick and in not a nice way. I just wanted to bring this story back up. The other 98%, it's on Facebook... Why don't you guys go over there and give them some hell, man? Let those liberal uh, lollipops... <laughs> lollipop uh, reminds me of that sh one schluck. <laughs> uh, that's his crowd right here. That would be his crowd. Uh, but that's it, it kind of hits you straight in the face when you see that kind of stuff. And you wonder why there's so much racism in this country. It's because these white-ass li white liberals, they're spreading it. But, again, we have bikers that actually vote that way. Sad state of affairs, man. Let me tell you, sad state of affairs. They vote that way even though these people look at them like a bunch of freaking animals. Tell me where that uh, is any... <laughs> yeah, tell me if that's right or not. So, uh, but leave your comments about the Harley-Davidson stuff. Uh, man, China, I can't believe it. <laughs> The world is coming. It's craziness now, this world. You would have never thought 20 years ago that Harley Davidson would get in bed with China. And you look at their numbers and they're, you're in collaboration. They're the ones who caused it. I guess common sense don't exist anymore these days. So don't forget to uh, listen to us over on the radio Spotify. If you missed that episode that the social media gods took down on me yesterday, it's over there on uh, Spotify, iTunes, MotorcycleMadhouse.com, all that good stuff. With that, I'll talk to you I later. Have time. a good Bad one, guys. Adios. Rock Ciao. on. So long. Put that Get up the there, man. Yet. Don't forget to go over to HarleyLiberty.com. Get all your motorcycle club news. What's happening in the scene? We have a new article or articles every single day over at HarleyLiberty.com. And don't forget the sister site, BikerLifestyleMagazine.com. If you're into all that kind of manufacturer motorcycle and news, motorcycle rallies and bikers helping the community, motorcycle club editorials and more. And don't forget to visit us on Facebook. Get involved in the conversation. Watch videos done a Motorcycle Madhouse and more. Also, we have Instagram. Yes, Instagram. We have material that is not seen anywhere else. So don't forget, get on our platforms. Check out your daily biker news. Rock on. Hey guys, this is Kara from Bagger Syndicate Cycles. 
I just want to let you know about a place where you can get the greatest apparel, top of the notch, all the beggars, bikers, and brotherhood. And ladies, don't you worry, we didn't forget about you. Check it out at beggarsyndicatecycles.com. Yo show is now available on Spotify and all major platforms including iHeartRadio, iTunes, Stitcher, and more. Don't forget to become a subscriber on any one of these platforms so you can be notified right away when our weekly episode is uploaded so you never miss an episode. Hi, this is James Hollywood Machikari. Join our YouTube channel and get Motorcycle Madhouse and tons of videos related to the bikers. Join now by subscribing for free and become part of the throttle today. Always free and always entertaining. Don't forget to visit us at www.harleyliberty.com for your daily biker news. Rock on!